हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द ऑनलाइन क्लास ऑफ क्लास टेन इंग्लिश लिटरेचर इट इज द सेकेंड क्लास एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू रीड अ ब्यूटिफुल पोएम डस्ट एंड स्नो फ्रॉम एन सी आर टी टेक्सट बुक फर्स्ट फ्लाइट द पोएम वॉज कंपोज बाय रॉबर्ट फ्रॉस्ट you are already familiar with the name of the poet and one of his poems yes it is stopping by wood on a snowy evening but before entering into the poem we should know about the poet Robert Lee Frost was a famous American playwright and poet of modern age. He was a much admired for his depiction of the rural life of New England in USA. His a comment of American colloquial speech and his realistic verses are portraying ordinary people in everyday situations. In most of his poems, he depicts the reality of life, such as joys and sorrows, hopes and despairs, suffering and happiness. Here in the poem. both in his poems stopping by woods on a snow evening and this poem dust of snow one word is common which is snow and from this word we may say that the poet is fascinated with nature and natural objects so before discussing the theme of the poem what the poem or the poet wants to say through this poem here let me tell one thing almost all we believe that a black cat or a crow are bad omens bad omens it is a idiom means a sign of ill future or catastrophe in future i mentioned this to you because through this poem the poet saturated these so called superstitious belief as they are created by ourselves let's come to the poem the poem is of two stanzas of four lines each containing one sentence full sentence see the poem at the end there is full stop so it is one single sentence and it has the rhyme scheme of a b a b c d c d see in the first line pro third line snow second line me fourth line tree that means a b a b and in the second stanza heart part mood root that means c d c d so directly come to the poem and its explanation 
the way a crow shook down on me the dust of snow from a hemlock tree has given my heart a change of mood and saved some part of day i had read in the first stanza the poet uses two symbolism one is crow and the other is hemlock tree both are symbols of death fear gloom or sorrow hemlock tree is a kind of poisonous tree and we already discussed about the crow its ominous sign shook down means poured down and dust of snow means particle of snow the flakes of snow the poet says that a crow has unwilling unknowingly sechered a dust of snow on the poet who was eventually standing under a hemlock tree here is a question may arise how does the crow sick down the dust of snow on the poet it is not clearly said but it may due to the movement of the crow while it perches on the branches of the hemlock tree when uh, the poet was uh, moving under the tree uh, and the tree is covered with snow or the wings of the crow uh, has some patches of snow and accidentally it uh, falls uh, uh, on the poet's now in the second stanza the way the poet emphasizes on the word the way has uh, given my heart a change of mood and saved some part of day i had read here you see the poet when the soft and cold snow fell on the poet it changed his mood from state of a sadness or to happiness to pensive to pleasure he started feeling soothed peaceful and refreshed this simple incident helped him enjoy the remaining part of the day which seemed to be wasted a little before he thus became happy as it saved his rest of the day from being wasted and held in regret so from the poem the poet through this poem gives us a message the poet highlights that a little seemingly insignificant incidents though it was a trivial the snow falls on the poet is a trivial thing but it somehow managed to change the poet's mood can make momentous changes in our future by imparting us with new thoughts 
and outlook so at the very beginning of the poet the poet was in pensive mood depressed condition but at the end he got his pleasure one literary device is mentioned here and it is hemlock tree irony hemlock tree and in the uh, uh, first stanza last word and the second stanza last word root that is uh, literally mean held in regret but root is actually a tree which is used in a uh, medicinal purpose so it is a poisonous tree hemlock is a poisonous tree and from poison we can be soothed with medicine so students i think you understood the meaning of the poem and the message of the poem thank you bye